Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to try and create a full piece using just one colour and today I'm going to go for green. So I've gathered together all my different art supplies and I'm just going to pick out all the greens of what I have. I've already picked out my watercolour green, sap green and gouache paint sap green and I'm just going to pull out all the greens from all the others and then get cracking. I have no idea at this stage what I'm going to paint or create. Yeah, should be interesting. Okay, I think that's all of my art supplies, all of my green art supplies anyway. I thought I would go with as light a green as possible. This is very close to yellow so yeah we're, we're gonna keep that in there and then it, I just went with anything that had gonna focus there we go anything that had the name green so turquoise green is quite dark so I have got quite a range of greens within the within the Ohuhu markers there's quite a range within the pastels as well oil pastels a couple of Posca pens I've chucked in the Stedler pencils I don't know if I'll use those really three of the Faber Castell pencils I didn't want to go into the turquoisey colours Perhaps I will if I've got these. We'll see what we end up creating. I've got one highlighter. I think that's really bright, but we'll see. Um, I'm gonna try and use as much of this as possible. See, I've got the two paints there. I have no idea what I'm gonna create. It's probably gonna be a landscape piece, <laughs> being green. But yeah, I'm just gonna have a play and see what I can come up with. I'm going to create the piece on my new mixed media paper because I'm using a mix of media. Let's get going. Okay, I'm gonna try and sketch something out first. I'm definitely gonna do some kind of patchworky countryside landscape but in portrait just because it's easier to film and it's easier for me to be going this way. I'm gonna try out some different angles with the old camera. I'm gonna use my Stedler pencil because it's quite a hard one and it's quite easy to sharpen into a point whereas I've just tried to sharpen my Faber-Castell pencils and it seems to sharpen more of the wood than it does the actual lead. I don't know if that's because it didn't keep going. Perhaps I should have kept going with the sharpening a bit longer and it would have gone into a bit more of a point. But I think for sketching anyway, it'd be good to use this. So yeah, I'm gonna get drawing and see what happens. I've got a reference picture of just a random patchwork but I'm not going to be following it it's just there for inspiration and ideas for shapes so let's get going <laughs> I hate this the first bit starting it off <laughs> literal with it you probably saw me there like flicking to look at other images I ended up trying to make this bit too accurate to the reference picture I had up so then for this bit I was like flicking over to a different one and then I was like no I need to just make it up it doesn't have to look exactly like a landscape it doesn't have to be realistic this is quite a loose supposed to be quite a loose mixed media piece that's the idea anyway so yeah I've just made random patchwork foreground patchwork hill and then hopefully this will look like it's going off into the distance I'll probably use my more turquoisey colors over here so it's got that kind of blue hue I don't know what I'm gonna do for the sky yet I guess try and use like a really light wash of green perhaps and I don't know whether I should try and use different shades of green by mixing it in with yellow or if that's cheating <laughs> This is, this is my video, my project. I'm setting the rules, but I feel like that would kind of be cheating. Perhaps I should just use the different variations that I've got available to me already and only use my watercolor green and then use like different amounts of water. That will change the color of that. Perhaps I have to just stick with what I have here. Okay, I'm gonna do a light wash of green for the sky in my watercolor and then start filling in this patchwork. Oh yeah, excuse the fact I'm wearing a dressing gown by the way. 
that's just how I like to stay warm. I need to get some more palettes because this one, as you can see, is full and I don't have, my plates aren't white, they're blue, so I can't really use a plate. So I think I'm gonna have to clean all this off, which is annoying. I use this to like experiment with mixing colors and I can't use these because they have used yellow in them. I'm gonna have to replace my orange cup with a green one for this, I think. I managed to get everything wet, reactivated everything. Got my green cup, got my clean palette, sort of. Right. Oh, I've just realized I need to actually squeeze out some paint. Now, I don't know how wet you're supposed to get the paper. During my last video, or one of my videos, I said I was watching a tutorial on how to use watercolours. I watched about five minutes and realised that the video I was watching was mm, annoying, so <laughs> I stopped, gave up on that, and then the last piece I did was literally just experimenting. Yeah, I have still had no tuition on how to use watercolours. I quite like that I'm just playing around and figuring it out for myself. Oh, that is just a hint of green. I doubt you can even see it in the camera, to be honest. But there is green there. Very, very faint. So this is stage one, just watercolour patchwork. I'm gonna leave that to dry, prep my lunch, and then come back to this. I really love the look of watercolour. It's so messy, but I haven't been neat with it at all. But I think once I add in the hedgerows and things, it'll, it'll neaten it up, and then I can go over bits like this that have bled in. I can cover that with a hoo hoo or, or pastels or something, so. Yeah, I'm pleased with how it looks so far. And I'm looking forward to one day knowing how to use watercolors better and creating a full piece in just watercolor that looks good. Okay, I'm back. It's the afternoon of the following day or the day after. I have no idea when I started this now. Uh, this is all dry. It's um, curled up a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna crack on. I really want a better setup so I can get my camera higher and I can get the whole thing in. But yeah, sorry about that. I'll just try and work on it there. I'm not gonna do anything more to this top bit, I don't think. It's, it is green, very, very slightly green. Yeah, I'd, I'm not really sure where to start. So I'm gonna get something up on YouTube to have going on in the background. And I'm gonna time lapse and then I'll check in as and when and if I have anything to say anything about it. If I have anything to say anything. Oh God. Going well, I'm actually feeling super productive at the moment. I got quite a lot of work done. I've made arrangements. What does this look like? I've made arrangements to go on holiday, so I'm gonna take a break. And my plan is to go through all my stuff and just have a big old clear out, as well as to like batch create a whole bunch of YouTube videos. That is the plan. And then I don't have to think about it for a while, or if I have an afternoon spare, I can work on the videos, but I'll be ahead of schedule. So that's what I would like to do. Also, it's Peachtober starting on Saturday or Inktober, and basically, someone I follow online who probably a lot of you follow it anyway, Fairy Little Peach. She created her own prompt list for Inktober, which is the daily art challenge that runs throughout October. And I think originally it was, you're supposed to do something a day based on the prompts like using ink, but she didn't like the prompts that they did and she wanted to use all different things. So she made her own and hundreds of people do it and I wanna be involved, but I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do it every day. But yeah, hopefully I'll get this done and I'll be up to date by the weekend. So on Saturday I can start and perhaps I'll do a couple of days worth 
in one go that's my plan anyway we shall see see if that happens but yeah also if i take a week off or if i get the week off that i want then i can also batch create a bunch of peach toba things just spend the week organizing my life ready for that horrible c word i don't know i like christmas actually to be fair but it kind of creeps up on you doesn't it and then you just go oh god there's so much to do but also nothing to do at the same time and it's just kind of a rubbish time of year in general until you get to like the christmas week then that's lovely and cozy vibes and then after that it's just a bit meh yeah it would be nice to be cleared out and on top of my life by then especially as i want to like decorate and put a little tree up and that takes up space and then everything feels more cluttered so if I'm organized and have all my stuff where I need it to be the tree won't take up too much space that's the thoughts anyway I think I'm done. So I've used Potica pens. I've used this little midliner. What even is it? Midliner pen, like highlighter type thing, which actually comes out with a really nice color, especially on top of the watercolors. I've used pretty much all the Ahuhu colors. So I'll just put on top what I've used. So I've used all of these, these, my, my Faber-Castell pencils, and watercolor and that's oh and my posca so those are all the things i used i did use this pen to sketch it, this pencil to sketch it out initially i haven't used any of my oil pastels and i haven't used the other color of posca pen this is the other green it's quite pastely i don't think it would work with what i have so so yeah i don't think it needs anything else i kind of want to leave the texture of this field want to leave that kind of plain the texture of this field so this is just watercolor this field this field is watercolor with the midliner on top and i think where it's got a chisel tip and i've done the lines it creates quite a nice liney pattern texture anyway this one is just watercolor with some trees so yeah it's pretty simple really basic but i think that's enough like it's nice how it is so i'm just gonna get my guillotine out and chop the top off and i think that'll be done i'll do a proper um little clip of it in a second it's pretty basic but i'm just using one color so yeah it was quite nice to just go for it i didn't have a reference up when i was uh, today doing this bit i had the reference up initially to sketch it but after that I've, I've not really had a reference up when i was doing the watercolors sections i was literally just like building up some areas to get darker and just patchworking it basically i've used the like darker more tealy colors over here because they're supposed to be really far back in the distance and it's got that like 
bluish hue when stuff's quite far away and you've got trees and stuff kind of like um when i was in the blue mountains they, it's got like this blue kind of hue to it which is why it's called the blue mountains yeah and then i just tried to create different patch patterns a little patchwork obviously it's not true to life you don't like fields don't look like that <laughs> they don't look that uniform and straight they don't like stripe like that but it kind of yeah it's abstracty landscapey Ness. I'll give it a trim and then do a final shot of it. Yeah, thank you for watching my little video of creating a piece using only green art supplies. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe because I hope to do some more, perhaps using different colours. I also hope to um, record some of my peach toba if I manage to do some peach toba pieces as well. So they'll be coming soon. And if I get a week off, hopefully I'll record quite a few things. And um, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe. If you like the video, press like, and then I know to do more like this. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.